It's up to us to protect this city. Stay sharp. You come? Hell yeah. From now on, I only do date night and tactical gear. <laughs> What I said. I was supposed to save the bad guys for you. Just a few. We back, baby. Very fast, very furious. Hey everybody, CW Network has started dropping early promos for all the new seasons. So we got Flash, Legends, Supergirl, Arrow. There's a little bit of new footage from the first episode of each mixed with some footage from the last season. You see Barry Allen wearing that new Flash costume, once we'll get to the season 5 it'll be, the Flash costume. There is another promo that they released, they are hyping up the release of Vixen the Animated Series. This Wednesday, who are you supposed to be? Vixen. Check out that hotness. Tiffany Smith hosts the team behind the CW's most super shows for the two-hour broadcast premiere. I gotta run. Time to get to work. Vixen. Special presentation this Wednesday at 8, 7 central on the CW. We might get some promos or at least some information about what's happening with each of the new seasons. Let's get to The Flash. If they are doing Iris West Bachelorette episode stuff, maybe they'll do Barry Bachelor Party stuff. Who knows they might get the arrow to guest star it, probably just be a couple of guys sitting around, drinking beer, watching movies. But in the promo Iris says, we need to protect our city, it is from episode 1, like they said a little bit about the team is kind of in shambles and she and Wally are trying to do the brother-sister team up thing that they did during the Flashpoint timeline at the beginning of season 3. So Wally has stepped up, but he is still in the yellow costume, this other clip of Barry in the new Flash costume is either from the very end of the episode because he's only in that episode for a very brief period, and then Barry Allen made it sound like he's back for the entirety of the episode too. They are in the middle of filming episode 5 right now. They have been posting a bunch of funny behind the scenes stuff, so we'll play those but it's mostly Barry having fun. What about now? Oh, oh boys. That's fucking terrifying. I'm gonna take an entire balloon. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I think it's going away. <laughs> Say Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> Dude, I got scared. Yeah, but, well, that's it, right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What's wrong with you? <laughs> hmm. Though they did wait till Tom Felton has left the show officially to start making Harry Potter jokes again, but for those of you who want to know, they didn't say that Julian was never coming back, they just said he wouldn't be main cast, and Tom Felton has been posting pictures of himself traveling all over the world while they have been filming these first five episodes, so if we hear about his character, it'll either be a flashback scene from last season or it'll be Caitlin just saying, this is what happened with him and then she's moved forward with her life. And many of you are still wondering what's going on with her character, is she some sort of in-between person where she still has her powers but she looks like Caitlyn, that kinda sounds like what they are doing, like they are really jumping her character forward so there's a lot of character development that you missed during this six month summer break, but the key is in this footage from the first episode, she's wearing that choker when she runs in with Captain Cold's gun, in the way they have this deep neckline like it just meant to draw attention to her neck. So even though, it's not totally clear, we believe that's a version of the pendant that Julie takes from Tom during the season 3, that helps her to keep her powers under control. Julian and I were talking about your battery problem with your cuffs. Uh, we decided we'd invest in an alternate accessory. Voila. Every time you go outside, solar energy will recharge it. Guys, this means so much to me. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. We can't just assume that she took Julian's serum, because that was supposed to be an outright cure to which she says she didn't want that, like she didn't want to go back to being the old version of Caitlyn, 
so whatever we're seeing here is some sort of hybrid that does not require Danielle Panabaker to go through like 4 hours of makeup every single day, but it is kinda weird to see her going from this face. To this face here, like she's so happy at the thought of getting buried back in this moment, so there have to be some sort of explainer like when we picked up in season 2, Caitlin had been working at Mercury Labs, we learned a little bit about what she'd been up to. So, this is what it looks like inside Mercury Labs. Security here is way better than it was at Star Labs, what with people walking in and out of the cortex all the time. Hi, Cisco. Let us know in the comments what you guys are excited about in Flash Season 4, they might drop a couple more promos like this the next couple weeks where they jam stuff together, before they start dropping more singular promos for each of the different episodes. Give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more awesome series reviews and breakdown videos. Peace.